guys, it's Lucy, and today I'm going to be doing my rest of December TBR. Today is also the first day of the 12 days of Lucy Reads. I've been seeing a lot of people doing this kind of thing where it's the 12 days or whatever they're channeling, which is basically a countdown to Christmas. If you may have noticed, today is not 12 days before Christmas, so clearly I'm starting this really late, which means that instead of counting down to Christmas, I'm going to be counting down to New Year's because that is another holiday we celebrate and I did not have time to start this early enough so that I could count down to Christmas because finals really suck the life out of me. So let's just get into the books that I'm planning to read in the two weeks before December ends. This is very ambitious. I'm probably not going to read all of these. So first we're going to talk about the books that I'm currently reading and like to finish, hopefully within like the next three days. But will it happen? I don't know. All of these books I was currently reading when I talked about what I was reading in my November wrap-up. I'm just gonna like go over them really quickly. So first we have Illuminae by J. Kristoff and Kaufman. I'm halfway through. I'm rereading it because I would like to read Gemina soon. Next we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is another reread. I'm really close to being done so hopefully I can finish this today, maybe. The last book that I'm currently reading is Another Day by David Levithan. The next section of this video is going to be books that I'm planning to reread in the next two weeks which is probably not going to happen but hopefully it will. First we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling illustrated by Jim K. This is going to be a reread because obviously I've read Harry Potter before but this is the first time I'm going to be reading the illustrated edition. I want to do it before Christmas because Harry Potter really gets you in the Christmas mood and I know I missed Harry Xmas to you but again I had finals. I, there was no way I could participate. I didn't even read anything like the entire month of December. I think I read like two pages total. I also want to reread four books that I don't have with me but I want to reread the first four books of a series of unfortunate events because the Netflix series is starting in January and I want to have like those four books fresh in my mind because I'm pretty sure that the first season of the Netflix series is about like the first four books. So I want to have those reread before I watch the series but I don't have them with me. I have to go to the library to get them and I haven't had a chance to do that yet because I've only been home from school for two days. Also some other books that I want to pick up at the library. I just want to read some graphic novels. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to get because I haven't been to the library yet, but yeah, hopefully I'll get some graphic novel reading done. I'm also planning to take part in the Holiday Book 2 which I think is from December 29th to the 31st, so I'll just take part in that little readathon because I take part every year, it's really fun, I have a good time. So the challenges for that readathon are to read a book with your favorite color on the cover. For this one I have really a lot of choices because my favorite color is blue and a lot of book covers have the color blue on it but I've chosen Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. I really want to finish the series, maybe I'll finish the series by the end of the year, who knows, probably not. But yeah, I might read that or I might read it earlier if I like run out of books to read. Not run out of books, I have way too many books to read. But if like all the books that I've mentioned previously I managed to read and like the holiday book too because I haven't started yet, I might read that before. So if I do read that I'll let you know what I end up changing that challenge to. The second challenge is to read a book from a genre that you discovered this year. For this I've chosen Ask the Passengers by uh, A.S. King. Uh, the genre that I feel like I've discovered this year is kind of magical realism, not exactly. Like, I feel like I've probably read magical realism books before, but this year I feel like I really discovered how much I love them with Wink Poppy Midnight and Revolution, which isn't really magical realism, but it kind of has that atmosphere. The next challenge is to read a book that was gifted to you. For this one, I've chosen Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. As I already said, I'm rereading Illuminae so that I can read this book. So hopefully I'll read it during this readathon or maybe a little before. Again, I'm not sure when I'm going to actually get to any of these books, but hopefully I'll read all of them in the next two weeks. And then like an added extra book is Ruin and Rising. If I read Siege and Storm and feel like I really need to finish the series immediately after, I'll probably just pick this up. Those are all the books that I'm planning to read in the rest of December. Let me know any books that you're excited about. If you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought of them, how you think I'm going to like them. So, as I said, this is the first day of the 12 days of Lucy Reads. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!